Hi, I'm Corey Robertson. I'm the Director of Digital Education Services. And I'm speaking in this video about the Surface Go tablet for our fifth and sixth grade students. So if you're seeing this video and you are a fifth or sixth grade student, you've probably recently received one of these tablets to use when you're learning at home. Today we're gonna to talk about all the pieces you received, how to turn it on, how to take good care of the tablet, and how to access resources like Microsoft Teams, and the student portal. When you pick up your tablet, you'll be given three main pieces, and we're going to go over those real quick right now. You'll be given the tablet, and with the tablet, the keyboard is connected already for you, so you have the access to that. You'll be given a pen. The pen you can use to navigate around the tablet, you can use to draw inside Seesaw or Pear Deck or anytime you're needing to draw on a uh, digital or virtual whiteboard and then you'll be given the charger. So it's real important to know the pieces that you get and so that you can also make sure that every day after school, before you put all this away, that you have all the pieces. So we'll start with the pen. The pen stores in this little uh, storage compartment right here and it just snaps in. Now the pen does have a button, so when you snap it in, please try to snap it in with the button on top, not on the bottom, that way it's not pushing against the tablet. So you wanna have the button pointing out and then you simply just click it in. And then you have your charger. And so you'll want to leave your tablet charging overnight. The charger plugs in on the side of the tablet right here. And so you can see the charger has its connector like this. And it can plug in right here. It's a magnetic connection, so you just need to get near it. And then it just clicks in itself. So you don't need to push it in. Um, and when you pull it out, it just simply pulls out. It's a magnetic connection. Pull it in. It's connected. The charging brick the little charger uh, prongs come down like that, and then you can just plug it into your wall, and then your tablet is charging. As always, when you put all of this away at night or in the afternoon when you're done with all of your homework and you're done with school for the day, you want to put it somewhere where it's not going to fall or somebody might be able to knock it down. So for instance, if I'm going to leave it on a table, I probably shouldn't leave it like this with the cable dangling off the side. Somebody could come by, trip on the cable, they might knock the tablet over. I should probably leave it in the middle of the table here and maybe back behind where I can plug it in. I know not all of us have ideal places to store things, but work with your family and find a very safe and secure place to put this tablet every time you're done. So we've talked about all the pieces of the tablet that you get. And what I want to share with you now is what is actually on the outside of the tablet and how can you uh, do some of the things with it. So as we discussed, you have your charger here. If you have headphones, you have a headphone uh, port right here so you can plug your headphones in. And if you have a mouse that you want to use, you can plug the USB in here. Note though that this isn't a typical USB, it's USB-C. So not every mouse you have may connect, and if you have an issue with that, please notify your school and we can work with you on that. At the top of your tablet, you have your power button here. All you have to do is push it one time and the tablet turns on, and then you have your volume buttons here. And as we talked about, you have your pen and you can remove it that way. To open up your tablet, you can see there's a little lip here holding it. All you have to do is just grab from the side and open it up and your keyboard opens and it can lay flat or you can have it propped up a little bit for when you type. Note that the keyboard doesn't come off the tablet. It's connected inside the case, so please do not pull on the keyboard. It's meant to stay that way. And as I mentioned, you just hit the power button one time, and then it turns on, and then you can log in. When you're all done, you can simply close it up, push it, and it goes underneath the lip. On the back of the tablet, there is a kickstand. And if you pull from the side like this, it allows you to prop up the tablet. And what's really nice about this one is, is you can make it lay as flat or as straight up and down as you would like. It's all up to your preference. It also has a carrying handle, which is really helpful for you. So if you ever have to move your tablet around, like you have to leave one area and go to another one um, for learning, or you're putting it away, you just simply slide your hand under there, and then now it's safe and secure as you're carrying it. Your pen goes in top, as we talked about, and you have your charger, and you can carry it, put it away for the day, plug it in and be ready for tomorrow. And that's all the pieces of your tablet, how to turn it on, how to take out the keyboard, and how to put down the kickstand. All right, so to turn on the Surface tablet, if it's in sleep mode, all you have to do is press the power button up here, as we discussed before, one time, turns your tablet on. 
Uh, you'll notice that it gives you kind of a, a splash screen. So to log in, all you do is just take your finger and swipe up, and it'll ask you for your login. Now, if this is your first time, you won't see your name here. You might see your school's name. It might say Orange Grove, or it might say Horace Mann. So if you don't see your name here, all you want to do is just come down here and tap where it says Other User. And it's going to ask for your username. Your username is the same username you always use to log on to your email, a Chromebook, or anything. So it's going to be a number in front, and then it's going to be your first initial and your last name, just like you always have logged in before. And you don't need the myacsd.us at the end. You can just put in your username. Then you can use the trackpad or your finger or the pen even, and you can just tap to where you want to type next. And you're going to put in your password. And then you hit enter, or you can tap on the arrow, and it will log you in. And when you log in for the first time, it might give you some screens that say, please be patient, Windows is setting up. There's always some sort of an update or setup that needs to happen. But when it's all finished, this is what your screen will look like. On a Windows device, you can come down to the bottom left. You see a little Windows icon. You can click and see all the apps that you have access to. But on the desktop, you're going to see the app that you really are looking for, which is your Microsoft Teams. In the past, you're used to going to the student portal and opening up Teams inside Google Chrome. But with the Surface tablet, you actually can go to Teams directly by double-clicking on it. And the app will open, and it will actually already have all of your Teams from your school in there. So for instance, this student is a sixth grader at Price. They've been invited to their library media assistance team. They have their um, DLI class that they're in, and they have their SLD class. And you can notice that it looks just the same as you're used to, um, but you just simply double click, in, or click once, and you can go into the team. And if there is a uh, team that is going live at the time, you can join it as well. And when you're done, you simply click the X, it goes away. Now there's other resources you want to access, like you want to access maybe Myon or Accelerator Reader or ST Math. Those you do go to the student portal for. So you simply go over to Google Chrome and you open it. And it'll look like Chrome has always looked, except you may not see all your bookmarks or tabs that you're used to, but that's fine because everything is on the student portal. And the student portal is www.myacsd.us. And when you go there the first time, it's going to ask you to log in. And again, it's the login that we used even to get onto this Chromebook, and it's the one that you're used to using. And this time, you do need to put in the at myacsd.us, and you hit Enter. It'll take you to our portal, and you do it one more time. This time, you put in your password, put a check in that box, and log in. Kids, you've done this a tons of times. It'll ask, hey, do you want us to save your password so you don't have to do this every time? And you can say yes. It might ask you to sync. You can just click the X on that. Every now and then, Google says, mm, we're not sure this is really you. Are you sure? And you can double check your email address here and look and make sure it's correct. And if it is, all you have to do is just say continue. And if it's not, if you typed it in wrong, you can say I don't recognize and go through it again. And then now you're on your student portal like you have always been used to, and you have all of your resources here. You have GG, you have Discovery, you have Pear Deck, Seesaw, everything that you're used to. And when you're all done for the day, you can simply click the X on that. And that's how to use your Surface tablet. So there are some other things you can do with the tablet. So as we discussed before, you have a pen and you have access to it. Your pen, if you hover over your screen, moves. You can maybe see the little, uh, the little arrow moves around, and it kind of acts like a highlighter or a mouse. You can tap once to select something. You can tap twice to open it up. You can use your pen if your teacher has a Pear Deck lesson and they're asking you to draw or write a response. You can use your pen to write like you would just on a piece of paper or on a whiteboard. So the pen comes in really handy for the writing. When it comes to moving around your computer, it may not be the best tool to use. If you don't want to use it at that time, please make sure, as we discussed before, that you put it in the a uh, little holder up here on the top so that you don't lose it. You notice that's all wireless, so it doesn't connect to your computer. We want to make sure you don't use it. You can also navigate simply by tapping on the screen if you want. You can tap down here on your Windows. You can double tap to open something up on the screen.
So with these Surface tablets, as we discussed before, you have a lot of options of how you want to move around the computer. You can use the trackpad like a normal Chromebook like you've used before. You can use the touch screen, or you can use the pen as well and tap around. When you're all done for the whole day, you're going to shut down the tablet. But let's say it's recess and you're going to come back in 10 or 15 minutes. All you need to do is just tap the power button one time and it puts it to sleep. Go to recess, go to lunch, you know you're coming back and you tap it again to turn it on and you swipe up. And if you've already logged in for the day, it'll just take you right in. But let's say it's the end of the day, you've done all your homework and you're going to put your tablet away in a safe place where it's not going to get damaged or it's not going to accidentally fall and you're not going to use it until tomorrow. Then you just simply come down to the windows, you click on the power and you ask it to shut down. And when you shut down your tablet, it'll take a few seconds, but that'll help keep the battery from wearing down too quickly. It'll also make sure that if there's any updates that come out overnight, anything we push out that we need you to have access to, it will pick up when you turn it on the next morning. And it just makes sure that it's completely off. You put your pen back in place, you close your tablet, you put down your kickstand, and then you go find a nice safe place to put the tablet where you know it'll be re ready and waiting for you tomorrow. Thank you so much for joining us for these videos. Again, what we discussed today was how to take care of our tablet, all the pieces you receive, and how to log in and use all of your apps like Microsoft Teams and the Student Portal. We know technology is not perfect and things might go wrong. If you or anybody in your family using the tablet run into issues, please contact your school so that you can get tech support as soon as possible. Thank you so much for joining us. I hope you have a good day.